William Sattler graduated from Mineral City High School. He played center at Ohio State for four years, was chosen all Big Ten at Ohio State, played professional basketball in the National Basketball League for the Coshocton Buckeye Clothiers, played professional basketball for the Youngstown Bears and Flint, Michigan team. Accepting the honor on behalf of the late William Sattler is his daughter, Patty Baraducci. Please welcome into the Tuscarawas County Sports Hall of Fame, William Sattler. I would uh, first like to thank the Tuscarawas County Sports Hall of Fame Committee for all the hall hard work you've done to start up this much needed organization. My sisters, cousins, and close family friends are all so grateful for this honor that has been given to my father, Bill Sattler. This means a great deal to us, and if my father were alive today, he would be very appreciative, not completely humble, and very humorous in his acceptance. Most of you did not get to know my dad, so I want to let you know that his basketball career, especially his years as a Buckeye, was very important to him and to my mother. I believe that the team's success of finishing as runner-ups in the first NCAA tournaments may classify them as the first Cinderella team, as they weren't even supposed to win the conference. The importance of what they achieved has become more evident, evident as the importance of the tournament has grown. Few people know that the concept of the NCAA basketball championship was actually the brainchild of their coach, Olson. And when the team was given the choice of the already popular and better known tournament, the NIT, or the newly conceived and iffy tournament of the, for the NCAA, the players showed their respect for their coach and unanimously voted to participate in the infant NCAA tournament. For us to know that that lanky six foot eight center had such an impact on college basketball is a major source of pride to us and I hope the entire county. I also want everyone here to know that his roots were probably what defined daddy the most. So much so that returning home to nurture the orchards that were so important to him, his parents and his brother Bob Sattler, that was what prompted him to give up his professional basketball career. When he had to make the choice, the farm won out. Mineral City was his home and his ties there ran deep. This became so evident to me many years after he had passed away. We were going through things at home as we were preparing to auction the farm and we came across a letter from his brother Bob he had, he had written to him while Daddy was playing at Ohio State. Uncle Bob was telling Daddy that he, Fred Fishley, and Max Ackerman had pulled together their pennies on a Friday night so that they could place a call to the Marietta radio station to see if the Buckeyes had won and how Daddy had done. His successes were their successes, and Tuscarawas County was always home. Although I was only 19 when Daddy passed away, I knew full well what basketball in Tuscarawas County meant to him, as I recall how all four of us girls were always in attendance for the Tuscarawas County basketball tournaments held each year at Memorial Hall and then later at the newly built New Philadelphia Gymnasium. We also took turns getting to make numerous trips to Ohio State basketball games with Daddy as he went there to tout some Tuscarawas County talent to then Ohio State's coach, Fred Taylor. Again, I'd like to thank you for this honor. For Daddy to be part of this prestigious inaugural class is amazing and something that my sisters, Bobby Sharkey, Nancy Vogel, and Mary Ann Stevenson, all the Sattler cousins, and our family friends, especially the Fishleys, and myself will be forever grateful for. I want to offer my congratulations to everybody who's being honored here tonight. It is humbling for him to be recognized with all of you who have given so much to sports in Tuscarawas County. Many of those people were my heroes, including you guys that are sitting down here because I remember watching you play. 
Okay, thank you all very much.